bright crimson and atomic teal. Now, when it comes to Liverpool shirts, I'm gonna be honest, the home shirts have been pretty mediocre over years and uh, I'm always a bit contradicted when it comes to these away shirts and third shirts that Nike have been releasing. The, the tealy green one from last season, I, like I said in my last episode for Future Classics, I believe that's going to be a really hard kit to acquire if you haven't bought it yet. So that's a shout out now to all you Liverpool supporters. Definitely jump on that kit because this one's definitely jumped on board and taken that spot. Now, I haven't seen the next rumored kit for the third shirt, but I think Nike is doing a great job. I'm really excited for the club because I have always been a fan of Nike's uh, you know, kits, but um, they're really trying to excite fans. And I think last season they wanted to go pretty easy. This season's home shirt is a bit disappointing. I feel like they could have done a lot more to it, but um, this one wins it. It's based on a 96, 97 kit. If you were to Google it, the first image always comes up as Robbie Fowler. He loved that shirt. He'd done a lot about it. I think, what, I think it was 31 goals that he scored that season. But um, yeah, this shirt is working well. Now I've got the dry fit advanced version. Um, if you are after this shirt or any new shirt from this season, definitely check out the greatest sort of supporters of this channel, Ultra Football who have always given me access to the newest and latest and the best kits of this season and last. So check them out in the description below if you're after this kit or any other kits. Now with that being said, I have seen both the normal fan version and the dry fit advanced. And I have to say, when you look at the detailing in this shirt, you fall in love with it a lot more. Similar to what Vapor was last season, it's just a new name for it. I believe if you are after the, the player spec version of shirts, then you definitely need to understand the value in the shirt. This one does give you every single bit that the players would wear. And I think when you look at it in person, you can see why you need this one. I'm not trying to convince you to get either shirt, but I think when it comes to this design, the simplicity, and I say this always in my episodes, but like, I like how the, the green, the teal color works with the creamy sort of version of the crimson. I think everything about this shirt is great. I love the tri-color on the neckline. This design is similar to many of the template shirts we've seen with the collars throughout the Euros. If you're a Socceroo fan, it's based on that same shirt. I think when it comes to a different colorway, it allows the shirt to speak. And I really like this one. It's funny because looking at the Liverpool website, they sold a retro remake sort of a score draw kit on this design itself and I think they sold out so I wouldn't be surprised if this one sells out throughout the season. The kit features a simple and clean cuffing on the sleeves. It also features the simple clean green uh, elastic on the side here. I would have, I, I I'll be honest, I would have loved to have seen a bit of detail on the side. Maybe the Liverpool bird on the side engraved or in, in detailed within it. I think this is clean version of it is a bit of a letdown. I think it would have added a little bit more sort of um, appeal to it. Or even if it said you'll never walk alone throughout the shirt, I'm sure a lot of Liverpool fans would have loved that little detail. The Holy Trinity work really well with this shirt. The standard charter looks clean on here. I do like how the Liverpool bird and the Nike logo here are heat pressed on with a thicker material. I think it really stands out and it gives the shirt a lot more value. Again, the only thing I would have requested, and I think if I was a Liverpool fan, I kind of would have asked for this to resemble that 96, 97 era. Would have been a crew neck version of this, similar to what we have here with the detailing of the red, white, and green. I would have loved to have seen that around as a collar. I think it would have worked a lot better. Again, it would have been a great testimonial sort of throwback to that shirt. But overall, I'm, I'm gonna say this, and even as United fan, I've got, I've got the United shirts in the background. I kind of uh, left that in there, but um, I think it's a great kit. And yes, it does remind me of the Roma shirt. It's gonna happen. I think when we look at these shirts, unless the club's home shirt has a significant design like Bordeaux with the V, I don't think we're gonna see anything different. With that being said, of course, when it comes to the template and the creamy color of this shirt, it's definitely gonna fit match to the Roma shirt that we are mentioning right now. And I do think it's gonna be a standout shirt. I do hope that the club gets to wear it more so than some of the other shirts that have been a part of their collection. And to rate this out of five, I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Like I said, the only change I would've done would be the neckline and the addition of You'll Never Walk Alone on the side.
Well, Liverpool fans, let me know your comments below. Do you think my review of this show is correct? And of course, what are you looking forward to this season? But if you're a kick collector and watching this channel, let me know your thoughts on this shirt. Do you think it's, you know, do you rate it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below as always. Another thing we have to mention about the Liverpool shirt is alongside all Nike shirts this season and many of the other seasons is actually a lot of the shirts are created with recycled material. Something that Nike is really pushing and I really like this aspect about them. And I know you're gonna ask me, put the Liverpool shirt on, let us know how it feels. I'm going to say no. I'm definitely not gonna try this shirt on. Uh, it's gonna upset some people. I just don't wanna be seen in a Liverpool shirt. Let's just say that because I know it's gonna be used by some of my friends as uh, as a bit of blackmail. So just imagine me in this shirt, guys. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Please leave a like, a comment below, and check us out on Reddit. If you wanna be a part of the team, just search up Talking Shirt on Reddit and we will be there. If there's anything else you want, let me know in the comments below as well, as I always listen to you and I'm always happy to make episodes that you request. But apart from that, stay away from stupid people, stay safe, and I'll see you in the future. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching this episode. As always, I want to give a shout out to everyone in each and every episode. So this one is dedicated to the Kitmando. Check out the Kitmando on Instagram by Kitmando, as you can see on screen right now. Otherwise, if you want to be a part of future episodes, all you have to do is follow and subscribe to this channel on both Instagram and YouTube. As always, see you next episode.